Sound checking, sound checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're live, but the show hasn't started yet. I'm just letting you guys know so you don't talk shit about somebody on the hot mic. <laughs> oh. Go ahead, Junior. Welcome to the motherfucking Ventura Tide Pod. We got Ace in the motherfucking house. What's up? Let him know what's up, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's Ace Freddy at far. You know what it is. Come from Oxnard, California. Yeah, I mean, some drugs more important than the lives we had to live. Um, this. The Niners are gonna take This it. is not financial advice. We have to say that, or else we get kicked off yeah. YouTube Live. Yeah. But put your money on the Niners plus one and a half. Take the points. <coughs> it might move to uh, two, two and a half by game time. Not uh, Mahomes is a bet on, and they got all these fucking Taylor Swift maniacs that it's don't even know game. about football. They're gonna bet on uh, KC. So. Take a nice gentleman. Hey, shout out Lord Sanctus, though. Uh, yeah, shout outs to him. Hey, connect the coast. Come fuck with your boy Ace Freddy, bro. Yo. Yeah. Been trying to fuck with you. Yeah, yeah, we have a... <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, going to see you on here. And get John, John Mercado's got some hoodies for sale, though. They're, they're fuck them neighbors hoodies. Hashtag fuck the neighbors. Uh, I'll be buying one for sure. And then uh, all the proceeds go to the artist, which is him. And then uh, go to the connect the coast website to get them. They're pretty good yeah. price, too. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember what they were. They were like 45 50 bucks or something. I started in a garage in Port Warnimi okay. by yeah. Bubbling Springs Park. It was really like a trap house, Yeah. but it was just like really just like a bunch of homies. Like, And I wasn't even a rapper. Like, I did not rap. Okay. Like, yeah. I just smoked weed and kicked it. Yeah. He's rap. Exactly. Stand, you know, OGT. Shout out my boy OGT, Jaquan B. Oh, yeah. What's up, OGT? Shout out, shout out Dopamine Rush. Yeah, to you know, shout out to everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's time. That's what I'm saying. That we got so much talent, like just in this area alone. Like, why does everybody want to go to LA or the Bay? You know, spins. Would you be on a cipher? Oh yeah, totally. I've been trying to put together a cipher. I even talked to Metaphor, Wild Child. Everybody's like down. You know what I mean? And like we've all worked with everybody now. So see, so the, now this is what I'm saying, right? Because this is where I, what I'm seeing with it. Like, I, I've i been doing music since, like, I've been taking it serious since, like, 2014, you know. But I just pack, pop back up because I was in prison for a while. But, mm -hmm. like, my whole thing is I've been seeing the same, like, artists just are the only ones that get pushed. And I don't know. I, I'm not saying nothing. you. But I'm just saying, like, if we have all of this talent, like, why isn't all of the talent getting pushed? Why aren't we finding new local artists that, no one's really heard about because to me it's like nowadays everybody's so focused how many mm. views do they have how much money do they have but you could go listen to some of these rappers out here and, and they flow is hard they songs are hard they unique but because they don't know the right people or they don't have the right amount of views people don't want to mess with them or they don't have the right name or they're not in the right circle but I'm saying the point of these ciphers that we could even get, and that's why I put that post up on Instagram. Yeah. The point of these ciphers is to not only push the artists that are already known about, but push the artists that are not known about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it, we, we have too many venues, like not only you guys, but we have all of these podcasts. An opportunity um, because you can be the one that organizes it. Yeah. So Ace Fetty, get it going. Organize yeah. the cipher. Man, that's who's, what I'm... who's on your cipher if you have it because you get to decide now that it's yours. Man, if I was gonna put a cipher together, <laughs> hey, you okay. are putting a okay, okay, if, okay, okay. Uh, so putting a cipher are, together, you are putting it. okay, so 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 that's what I'm saying. If we doing the whole 805, right. yeah. if we doing the whole 805, boom, okay. Damn, there's so many artists. But I would say volume one, I'm going to put all artists like, okay, you got Surrealist. He go crazy. His flow go crazy. Boom. I'll put him. Right. Then I'll go I'll go down the coast. Oh. That's pretty, pretty good. Does Junior Son on your cypher? He doesn't know your son, so it's Who's hard for son? him to invite him. Yeah. Uh, real ass Ray. What do we do? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard. No, that. you. Of yeah. course, I gotta hear Junior him. Son. Why would you hear Junior Son? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, okay. Well, you he's, be on it too. Hold on. He can come off the bench. Okay. So boom. Okay. So here, here's another artist. 
people might not know about my boy Kells Ray. I don't know. I don't he's know from Lompoc. But he be in mm-hmm. L.A., but he an artist. Boom. That, but see, right. I'm telling you artists that people might not know about. Two spots. I'll put my boy Kells Ray. Yeah. And he's the he's the one that's like, I want to turn everybody on to this person. Yeah, like, that's yeah. He got, he, you can't do a whole cipher with those people because then people won't. And then look, you gotta have, look, yeah. Bobo Dame right here, too. I'll put Bo on it. Phyllis. Phyllis Driller? Yeah. Oh, Phyllis Driller, you made the cipher, man. You have to put the yeah. The zombie. He, <laughs> no, Surreal is so glass because if you put Surreal first, he'll, he'll verse his body everybody before they rap. Yeah. And so at least you put Surreal yeah. on at the end. You got to put him third. He, he, he it's like baseball. He's got to back clean up. Yeah. Putting rappers in his verses, so, you know, you got to okay. put him on at the end. So here's yeah, another yeah. artist a lot of people might not know about. My boy, Steez. Okay. <laughs> he from out here. He a local artist. He, he But right now, he out there in Texas. But his name's Steez. Shout out my boy, Steez. He's two gang. Now nah, he he from Arsenal, yeah, you know, yeah. but he hard. Hey, okay, flow go crazy. Another one. I'll put a, can I say something? That's smart because now you you're bringing the 805 to Texas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I like it. So yeah. we got three spots taken. That's right. So, another one. He go crazy with his flow, my boy Monte. Shout okay. out my boy Monte. He from Ventura. Monte. Monte's on the squad. Yeah. Follow him on oh, Instagram. Man. No auto Monte. He go crazy. You know, but yeah. these are like some artists that people may not have heard about. Okay, I, so I haven't, but like I'm not like. So I'll anything, go. I'll go back to artists yeah. that people have heard about. So I'll put Big Time Bake on my first one. Oh, yeah, right. I know that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put him on my first one. <laughs> He'll bring the weed. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'll put him on a yeah. cipher. You be seeing his freestyles on IG. <laughs> his shit go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Who else? Right. Who else? How many spots is that, folks? I don't know. It's your cipher. Um, how lo- Spence, how's, how long, how many people are usually on a spy- cipher? God, I can barely Probably get like that out. Probably like five, 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 five to seven. seven. Yeah, so if it's too long, people I'll just... Good. Yeah. I'll say a good five, five yeah. to seven. But this is just yeah. like... Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, if I put this cipher I got, I got, I got an old crew. I'm, we're, we're at least ten and then, people. And okay. Ten. And that's the realist all in the crew. So yeah. be, okay, be, so if... It's, it's, and then and then just on some OG shit, I'll throw my boy Mark Ford on there, and then we'll end it right there. Put some OGs and put some new people. I like Mark Ford. Mark like, Ford like goes crazy. Music. Yeah, I was yeah, in one yeah. of his videos Which, a long, long time ago. Really? Yeah. Would you classify him as big, or he's like up and coming? No, nah, he's far from up and coming. Yeah. I, but I yeah, mean, I have I'm no idea. Yeah. yeah. I've been Mark heard Ford about. And I were on Team Backpack back in 2015. Yeah, he's he, not up and coming. Yeah, he's not up and coming. I've known about Mark Ford since like 2014. Like oh 20, shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 2013. Yeah. Omega Nova. Do you know him? Um. Mm. No? Okay. I'll just ask because he's in uh, Wainimi. He's been on our show and he's. There's there, some he's people been doing that for over a decade, adaptive. too. Yeah. Yeah. Adaptive. yeah. Adaptive is adaptive also from Wainimi. Adaptive goes Hey, and mm. to anyone who might feel some type of way about my Cypher lineup, look, that's just volume one. If I were to throw a quick one, like. That's what not I'll, be mad because that means you aren't as you aren't at the top of the city and you should you have a you have yeah, a growth. Mad. Yeah. Yeah. Well if, yeah. if anybody's ever had um a setback in their life, you know, how you react to it is yeah. gonna be who you are. So I I feel like almost like you need to take a hungry person and keep them off on purpose. Yeah. Just to send the message. Definitely. You know, like they do that cut Michael Jordan off the varsity. <laughs> Like never heard the end of it. Yeah, yeah. Might, way, I might just you know? fuck around and crank that soda boy and create a new dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, what would be the new dance that comes know. out? I don't know. If between we, we heard this song. This you know the song. I hate her, dude. That but that sounds like I a new her. dance craze. I hate her. Like my <laughs> new girlfriend. No, nah, like like she ruined the world. <laughs> I love I love this sound bite though. Hey, this like for showing sure you in a club. Lord like Lord Sanctus, any girl for the dance to that. Who night. took your uh, soundboard idea, by the way, Lord Sanctus? You know? yeah. No, if you do a girl dance to that, you may not have to take her home. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Double bag it. Double bag. Yeah. 
A for shit yeah. show. I swear to God. I said double bag at Junior said double penetration. So we're on different vibes right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Call me up, Junior. Speed up. <laughs> Junior, I don't think we're agreeing here, Junior. We said different things. I'm just thinking of the strip club again. Yeah. Yeah. Perez says, a lot of dope rappers in 805. We need to get Fresh Mex popping again. What do you think about that? Hey, Fresh Mex yeah. was like OG days. I was like, yeah. 2011. We went there uh, last year, right? Ventura need to get that Ventura Theater popping again. Yeah. That's when the yeah, that's yeah, when Ventura, yeah, that's when our area really finna start popping again. When you start bringing these artists back and getting our artists on stage at the Ventura Theater and selling that shit out, like bone that bone shit is legendary. Like what shit. the fuck? I mean, there you or go. you bring Ralphie the Plug, or you bring somebody like that. Like you bring them out here, you put them on the Ventura Theater stage, they gonna sell that bitch out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, hey Sanctus, I know you. I know you. Look, I hear you, brother. I hear you. <laughs> But we can continue to try to dominate our hometown, but if people are still not going to be on the same page, how can you dominate your hometown? Because then everybody's going to still have their own egos and their own lanes. Are you on the Tide Pod? Hey, what's up? It's Chingona Nails. Oh, hey, what's up, Chingona? Uh, Chingona Nails, Chingona Nails everybody. Or tonight. <laughs> we only smoked a couple... Blunts or joints or something. We got Ace Fetty 805 in our studio right now. Yeah. Um, I just logged in to upcoming artist. He's from Goleta. He goes um, by Verbla. V E R B L A. Okay. I'm going to have to look him up. And the raffle. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and follow him on Instagram, it's V E R B L A Mm -hmm. dot E T H. All right, he's about to get one follower right now. <laughs> I already follow. I already follow. He's like the smartest guy I know. So when nah, he says he something, is, I'm like, like, oh, like, I agree. Because then yeah. I think, like, when he says that, I think about like the actual like, like, what do people even listen to music out here in the 805? Like, what is their actual like taste and genre? It's very. Cool. That's what we should yeah, do. It like Sanctus, you should do, you should do a po. Uh, uh, what is that shit called? Where you do like a a vote, do a vote and a poll, a poll, a yeah. Poll. There you go, and see what the fuck is people's favorite genre in the eight oh five. Hmm, interesting. What if it's like because if we don't know what they're actually listening to, like how would you even know how to target your your crowd? Even though you could still do your rap. Do you think you, you could still... track that on AI though? Like like uh, if you did like some Spotify research or something, and you could see what's the Spotify plays from this region. I think so, because even yeah. if you see on Spotify and stuff, like if you yes. look at some of our artists, like most of their listeners are still out of town. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of our artists. <laughs> All right, hello, you're on the Tide Pod. Yo, what's up, y'all? Can you hear me? It's Lord Sanctus. Oh, oh let's go. Dude, I just want to thank you, Lord Sanctus, because I w- I'm so high, I could not read the chat very well, and you calling in is and just And I know my boy yeah. is smart. My boy hella smart. What's up, Lord? Yeah. Nah, As I said before, this is the smartest guy yeah. I know. Um, he runs CTC Radio. This is uh, the Lord Sanctus. Sanctus. Go follow him if you don't already follow him. Yeah. Connect yeah. the calls. Platforms. Come on, uh, all platforms. Come on, all platforms. So first of all, this is the first time I called in. So I, you know, this is dope. I fuck with it, and and then <laughs> I just want to apologize to Ace because I didn't realize I wasn't following you, bro. So I just gave you a follow. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ace has gotten two followers from the show. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, run them so I, I have to find that community and we have to foster that community. Like the point of Connect the Coast for me is to build a market where one doesn't exist. Yeah. So that's not a that's not a one year journey, that's not a five year journey. In my mind, when I started this, I knew it was gonna be at least a ten year journey. Yeah. Okay. But by the time by the time because what I what's happening, like when I left Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, I started to see that the trajectory for like fame and clout mm-hmm. was scaling down. Scaling down. I was saying earlier, like for sure, bro. We've been tapped in. Like, I don't know if you remember me from like five, six years ago, bro. So you feel me? Like, we've been tapped in for years, bro. We've been for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying so. I've I've already seen what you've done and how you how you progressed and how you're maneuvering. You feel me? That's why I say like, if anybody can say that they have been like pushing shit for real, for real, I would say you guys. 
But I would say some of these other people who are acting like they really, like, for us and trying to, like, even do anything to, like, I don't know. You know? Like, they've been kind of getting there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But who's going to come with that one that's just, like, remember, like, back in the day when old boy came out with that, like, lean like a cello? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. People uh, still know this to to the day. <laughs> yeah, Junior knows that one. Uh, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was a, that was a big man. motherfuckers out of state knew that shit. Lean <laughs> like a cello, like you feel me? Like that, you know what I'm man. saying? But you but, are right. Like that's what it's gonna take. The thing about that is, it was a hit, but it was a novelty hit. We need a hit that's not a novelty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah one sure. of the, I think, I think one of these things is finna do it in the next two years. Like, I know Cam DeGuapo is going crazy. It's, it's some people that's finna do it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's, hmm. that's for sure. I, I, I personally, I think Trap Guys could do it. I think someone from your squad could do it. Like, no bullshit. Like, it's gonna happen. And we just hmm. need to make sure it happens. The whole city could take advantage of it. So I'm just yeah. trying to build that. I'm telling you. All right, I, so live on the show right now, let's take bets. Who's gonna write this this hit you guys talk about? Let's say a name. It could be yourself. Bet on yourself. Yeah, for I sure. Think so. it <laughs> yeah, all right. We got a one A Spatty Junior. Who's, no, who's gonna make the hit? Lord Sanctus. Lord Sanctus. Hey, OG David James, James go crazy. I think. Uh, I think Seven Records. I think honestly, Seven Records, Teddy Clan, Connect the Coast. I think all got potential to to some someone affiliated with them or associated with them. I feel like can, can have a hit. I truly believe that. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, we got, we got, we, there's some people that, I'm telling you. Yeah, we got a lot We of got horses. talent, we got yeah. talent, people just got to stay focused, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, you've been in it 10 years, I mean, what's the, uh, what makes people lose focus? And I remember when yeah. I didn't give a fuck, well, yeah. well, for me, what made me lose focus was like, I was too involved in the streets. I got to the heights of the heights with freestyling and it didn't get me nowhere, so I don't yeah. try to tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm focused on the record. But, yeah. like, I just want to know, bro, like, you you have my support um, regardless of, you know, yeah. regardless of without my support. I'm fucking with, I see the vision. Yeah. I'm here to help. And, uh, you know, I don't want to take over your interview, but I, I'm, I'm fucking with it. Nah, I fuck with you, bro. I'm yeah. for sure finna Take it over, man. I'm losing my voice. So, <laughs> that's right. Nah, we yeah. for sure And Junior's man. too high to and fucking that's talk. that's what I'm saying. Even for the, for the people listening, like, listen to what bro's saying, because you feel me? Like, bro, at the end of the day, I'm not one of them artists that finna be, like, all, oh, like, oh, bro, like, woo, yeah. nah, bro. I'm taking everything you giving me as game, bro. You feel me? Because that's going to help nah. my vision as well, like, even though you might have a little bit of a different direction or I have a certain direction, at the end of the day, two minds can blend into something perfect. You feel me? <laughs> That's right. I, and, you know, I'm like, I, I'm i supporting, I'm fucking with it, and, you know, let's figure it out. I got you. I got you, All bro. Right. I'm going to stay tapped in. I appreciate you calling. Yes, sir. I'm glad you guys could uh, Shout talk out about each other. Go follow him. Yeah. Can I get one question? For uh, I was gonna ask him about what's the next crypto to blow up because that guy's been <laughs> that guy. People are taking offense to that, but it's like, bro, honestly, you can you could go all over the internet and all you motherfuckers sound the same. Yeah. Like everybody's sounding the same. I don't know. It's like the sound bar too, isn't it? Everybody talking about forties and four fives and clocks with thirties and. And yeah, and, yeah, like, I know, like, right? Ski, yeah, yeah. And, and big asses. <laughs> and my whole thing is, if you look at some of the cities we live in, bro, hell no, bro. The murder rate is like fifty, bro, forty, yeah. thirty. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty mellow here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah, bad, yeah. but it's not as bad as you, how people are trying to make it seem. It's not like, bad here, no. you know dude. I live in bad. It's, <laughs> it's not bad here. Making it sound like dude, I just feel like, bro, people people know who certain people are and like what people do, but it's like when you have a hundred and some people are like even twenty, thirty, forty people rapping about the same stuff, but it's like, bro, is it really <clears> like that? Are you guys really doing that? So then I think uh, that's why some people won't listen to that music anyway. And then you get in the sense of only your homies play that music. It's mm. really, it's not really on some shit like where it's gonna go anywhere, cause it's yeah. like, huh, really? You kind of had a run. You said, did your daughter really die? Like I really put that in a song. Like really uh, talk about yeah homelessness. That was a sad addiction. song. Yeah. It's, it, now that I know it's true, it's but, even sadder. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 every it, so, I don't. and that's the thing about me. Like when it comes to writing a song like that, every single bar or every single word I put in that song is something that really happened to me. 
You know what I'm saying? Falling from the heart. From homelessness yeah, yeah. to drug addiction to losing my kids, like everything. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. It'd be sad, but it's going to resonate more than if I'm always putting out some gang gang shit or like some shit where bitches can shake ass. Yeah. Like, if I could put out a song a to you and you kind of just yeah. like, damn, like, you're going to think about it a lot more. It's going to resonate yeah. with you. Like, oh, okay, he hit me in the, he hit me in the heart. Stick. Like, you know, yeah, I felt yeah. his pain. I could feel what he's Hell saying. Yeah. I'd rather put out that, but it's like, it seems so many people just want that turned up shit. So it's like, fuck it. And then I listen to that shit all day anyway. But the real life is what I'm finna start pushing towards. And like, like kind of like, it has to do with like mental health and stuff. So part of the song I talk about, uh, I found my dad again, right? Now my dad is homeless and addicted to drugs. So like when I'm writing the song, I'm kind of like writing it from my eyes, but also his perspective. Like it's called Man in the Mirror. So... Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like another real life type song. This is about that time or about it's Tales me? of a Lost Soul. Okay. So what well, you'll hear it. Alright, alright. It's your boy Ace Fetty, man. Hey, Ace hey, Fetty. It's Tales of a Lost Soul, man. Like right. a hoodie, man. Uh, what that's like Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It was cool. I oh. got it at Ross. Ross Dress for Less, you better check, man, because they're, they're <laughs> fuck with people that can't read Japanese, you know? Uh, Chingona says, Jasmine Flores, I like it, sounds like poetry. I wrote a couple of songs when I was in prison, too. All you have is time to reflect on your life, Chingona Nails. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh God, I wrote a... Uh, I, I wrote hope you're okay with me reading that, Chingona Nails, because now everybody knows you spent... Person, and then, like, three days later, I'll just drop it. Like, oh, you can't wait. <laughs> you can't wait. <laughs> hey, that's my problem. Like, hey, three day deadline, guys. <laughs> All right, if, if Ace Freddy sends your song three days or it's off. No, yeah. no, I'll be fucking up. I won't even send it. My wife is like telling me like I gotta move the podcast farther away from the house. So we, maybe we use your nail salon as the new Tide Pod Studio. Oh yeah, I just invited myself. Sorry. Hey, you know, yeah. maybe I could try out for a position as a host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Actually, you know what? You need your own podcast. Yeah. You don't need a host. Oh God, I was gonna you need start your own podcast. Man. I was gonna, I was gonna start one called "I Ain't Shit for Real for Real," but I was like, I Damn, like that name. I think I would yeah, get yeah. canceled. No, dude, we don't, we haven't got canceled. Uh, well, how deep are you going? Like, what's some of the topics that are going on? This well, thing? I was gonna keep it more like comedy music, like type. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? But uh, you go. You won't get canceled. No. Nah. But then you with with the, with shit. the comedy, I think I'll get canceled. No. Give us an example of what someone else might say on the show. That no, nah, but you didn't see on Killing the Game when old boy was talking about uh uh with uh the girl in the the uh the cuck thing. No, the one in the wheelchair. Oh, the wheelchair? <laughs> no. What, 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 oh Jesus! That might get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, the girls grabbing that D. Let me ask you guys a question. Got, uh, what if, what if you were <laughs> both unfortunately paralyzed in an accident uh -huh. from the waist down, and your dick couldn't get hard anymore? I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, but <laughs> okay. Well, this company, this company is called Fabletics. They make pants, like stretch pants for men. Yeah. So I just wanted. I was thinking we could all get matching pants, you know, for the prank call, and then. Uh, <laughs> Okay. And then, but we, we do we'll, a prank clothes? Yeah, this is All a right, prank let's call. Go. Yeah. It's called oh, Fabletics. What did she say? What did she say? Hello. Thank you for calling She said, Fabletics. what's up? Calls are recorded. Hello, Spanish. Open the mail. How can you? I assist you today? Talk to a representative. <laughs> We're talking to I AI. understand you would like to speak to a live agent. Yes. However, I need to get some additional information from you. How can I assist you today? Talk to a representative. Please hold while I transfer you to a consultant who can help you. Uh, thank you, robot. To ensure your experience is as smooth as possible, this call will be monitored or recorded. They're going to play this call in the staff meeting. You are the next what? caller in the queue. All right. Oh, this music hits. You, you, can you freestyle? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Oh. Thank you for calling for Lettix. My name is Amy Hoffman. Oh, sorry, you're breaking up. What's your name? My name is Cindy, A-N-D-Y. C-A-N-D-Y. Um, hey, what's up? I'm part of a uh, boy band, and there's uh, three of us here. Uh, my name's Randall. We have Ace Fetty. Ace, say hello. Hi. And uh, we got How you doing? 
We got Junior, the um, the gay roller. Say hi. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Say hi. Hey, what's up? Hi. And uh, we're in a boy band. And we just want to get like uh, three pants that are the same. Basically, you wanted to purchase some items, correct? Yeah, correct. That, that, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the colors that we needed. Do you have an account? We do, no, we need some customs. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. We all have different sizes, if you know what I mean, on the inseam. So that's where, because like you have like, it's rough. you have small, medium, and large, and XL. But we need um, the inseam to be different sizes, but the same color pants. Okay. Um, so for that, I think you, didn't you mentioned that you wanted to purchase. Junior um, would need extra small have, uh, on the inseam because he has the smallest. Okay. But the um, and you guys, for your concern, if there's a store near you, you could actually purchase some items from there. And also, if you wanted to purchase some items online, all you have to do is to make an account. But that's why we're calling and you. And that. There's no store um, near that, us. I cannot but we're trying to get three pairs of pants. I cannot assist you if you don't have an account on our end. Can I, I use my grandma's account? account? Can you use his grandma's it account? Actually depends on can, can you try my grandma's yes. account? Okay, do you have an email for that? Yeah. Your grandma has an email? <laughs> She's like 99 years old, dude. She has an email? <laughs> wow. Yeah. She has like her emails like number one at gmail.com because she's the first one to ever it's have like email. it's right. like um grandma hello? Got yeah hello um do you want me to assist you yeah. yes please yes please do you, ha okay. so do you have so it's more account? of a question about the products then i know i know we need to get our account going before we can order but um is it possible to order three different of the same pants because we're all mediums but we have different inseams in the, um, yes, you part. could actually purchase some items in a different I need um, an XL. Sizes. My inseam got to be an XL. You could actually purchase. Is it is it considered if if the uh, the part the middle part of the pants where the two legs meet, if it's lower, does that mean it's a bigger inseam or does that mean it's a smaller inseam? It actually depends on the specific pants. You can see there there's a size guide. Uh -huh. I, I need like the normal man's inseam, but it's four, 14 inches lower. It's because like I'm short, but like I have a large, so I need like an extra large inseam. Yeah, but I think it, what you're saying is you need an extra small inseam because you have an extra large area. Oh, That's so what I'm trying to get at. It's confusing. Also, yeah. it's backwards. How do you measure your inseams? Because I don't want it to suffocate. <laughs> yeah. Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought we lost you. Somebody's getting so out. So, how do you measure the inseam? Is it distance from the floor up or from the, um, waist I don't down. know. I don't know how to say it down. From the waist down. No, not the waist. It's where the two legs meet. Guess from the legs. Um, it's actually, if you could see the size guide. Either where you're going to um, measure the inseam. Okay, where's the size guide? Is it? Tell me where. I'm on the internet right now. Tell me where the size guide is. Try to search one specific item or pan. Mm -hmm. Where exactly? Sorry, man. Well, all right, there we go. Sorry. And where is it exactly? Junior, I'm looking at the women's size guide for you because no. uh, your small area down there. But we gotta get him hot pink. All right, so I've got the size guide. Okay. Oh, very attractive gentleman on there. Okay, so the inseam. Oh, those are short shorts. Okay, you can see the inseam. It goes from his heel of a shoe up to. Skinny shorts. Okay, yeah. So uh, judging by this size guide, you need a very small inseam because you have 14 inches like me from of uh, inseam lower than the average male. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, we got so it. So we need smaller inseams. So do you want to try my grandma's uh, email? Yeah, let's get his grandma's account. email on there. Think, good idea. Hello. Can you provide? Yes, mm -hmm. it's um. My granny. 
Hello, if you have if you have time to get serious, you could call us back. Okay? No, no, it's just, we ate marijuana edibles, so we got the giggles. But we're serious about this order. Okay. Okay. What was it? My granny. What? Yeah, it's my granny. <laughs> <laughs> At one or what? It's, Every uh, time you say my granny, I can't <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> oh, this weed got me <laughs> tripping. <laughs> All right, Junior, you try it. Because we can't get it out without laughing. You try it. <laughs> okay, say the email. My granny. <laughs> at. Oh, <laughs> hey, I couldn't do it. I failed. Hey, I was going to say my granny got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> you might be wearing it. Hello. Hi, welcome to the Ventura Time Hot. You're on the show with Ace Fetty 805. Thank you. Give it a round of applause. Oh, are you are you able to hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Give it a round of applause for being on the Ventura Type on. Oh. Why didn't you call in? We need um Oh yeah, there we I go. Told him. Yeah, there we go. We got Lupe on the show. Lupe's on the show. Hey. Everybody Woo, let's go. Lupe, give us your best Ace Fetty story. It's okay if it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. He, she's going to go way out. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> Don't be scared. You can do it, girl. Don't be scared. Go ahead. Only here at the Ventura Tide Pod. I think she hung up. All right. Bye, oh. Lupe. Oh, no, she's still there. Oh. <laughs> Lupe, what are you up to tonight? You ate a gummy? <laughs> no. She on her mommy duties, I think. Oh. Well, that's the best time to do a gummy. Dude, there's nothing better. Like, you got, like, uh... Wait, how do you know her? I know her. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing better than go to gummy. I know her. Going that's to... You gotta say. Taking some gummies and going to the beach with your kids. Yeah. Uh, I know it's irresponsible, but if you have another responsible person there, yeah, man, that's the best. You get to play in the sand with them. You're on the same level because you're just as retarded as they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you're five years old playing the sand show, show. Okay, ready? Wait, hold on, hold on. It's going to have your music, of course. Hey, would y'all fuck with the I Ain't Shit for real, for real? Fuck yeah. I would. That would be on my short Welcome list. Welcome to the motherfucking Ventura Tide No, no, it's not Ventura Tide Pod. It's... No way. Oh, okay, okay. Welcome to the motherfucking Ventura Tide Pod. We got real shit for real, for real. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. You got him. Your host, Ace Fetty805. Give him a round of applause. shit for real, for real. Yeah. There he goes. Actually, this is the one that made me think of Atlanta. Now that I found a few. Why these souls think I'm wiping up? Once you cross me, oh my god, it's that boy's black boy is in the club with my son. Black boys in the club with my slime. I'm just doing me when it comes to living life. Hey, look, bitch, I guess I'm back up on my own now. Little thot bitch, seeing dick is finna go down. Drip talk with Lou Hennie. This is sweet talk. I'm kicking shit when I'm pissed off. All right, and this show podcast is starting. Yeah. You know, it's your boy H5805, you know. <laughs> Today on I Ain't Shit For Real For Real, I got my boys from the. Ventura Tide Podcast. Hey, you dude, we, that'd be cool. We could be on your <laughs> show, right? <laughs> yeah. And Randall. The How come nobody ever asked us to be guests on their show? Did they come <laughs> on yeah. our show? I, I've seen. We can talk. If you could pick your number one red flag that you look for in someone, what would it be? Fuck. Uh, tell the truth, I don't have no red flags. No, you, not your no, red not flags. You. But this is. Damn. Yeah. If you look for a red flag in somebody, like, damn, What's I gotta get the fuck Here, let me, let me answer so Junior will know. But for basically, sure. yeah. Daddy issues. If they got daddy issues, <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good night. If you're a single guy, and and oh, uh, no, I'm not gonna let you in the car. Oh, that's a red flag. 
Yeah, well, that's his favorite red flag. Oh, to true. get stranded? That's your favorite red flag? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful, bro. <laughs> you heard it from him himself. All right, yeah. ladies. If you really want to get Junior... If you want to leave my uh, boy stranded... <laughs> if you really want to turn him on, just drop him off in the middle of nowhere. I love the boy, but on oh, my mama, you is not finna leave me right here. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think... I would, it would never come to the point where I even get the fuck out the car. Like, what? Yeah, what? you'd be like... You'd be like, if no, I'm, take me I'm home. Get out, break up. Yeah, it, nah, if <laughs> I'm finna get out the car, you finna have an Uber for me, taking me wherever I'm going. It's only fair, man. You guys don't don't ever use that against me. Hell no. <laughs> well, we'll never, we'll never be against you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're talking on the internet. Yeah, yeah talking. he's talking to his own followers, not us, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Don't use drugs, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, don't use drugs. RP everybody who's died from drugs. Mental health is a real thing. That's right, and also oh, lost yeah. careers and lost just lost your hopes. Yeah, yeah, is a real thing. I was, gonna call that, so I was just watching, and uh, I listened to what you guys uh, were saying, and um, I, I hadn't really heard of Ace before, but um, I got tapped in with you guys because I met um, I, I, I met one of your guys down here. He just moved out here, and uh, uh-huh. and so that's kind of how I started following y'all. Yeah, I, I don't. You know, I don't know what we're doing. Um, we just do this live show um, every Tuesday and Friday, and then we just are looking for people that are independent and they're unique and they're promoting their themselves. And we just want to kind of give them a voice. Um, but I think what you're referring to is we're doing an art contest where we're gonna uh, we're taking submissions on uh, artwork. It doesn't have to save into a Tide Pod on it, but uh, we'll we'll pick one or we'll probably put a vote out. And then we're gonna print off a few, a bunch of T-shirts with it on, and then we'll take all of that money and give it to the artist, all the uh, profits from it. So that's yeah, a way of supporting the art community. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That that that's super decent. I've been, I, I actually that's how I kind of got interested in you guys as well. I do the same. I do kind of something just got five months on the twenty-seven. Oh, congratulations! Been, I, there you go. There you yeah. go. Keep going, brother. Oh. See, that's Thank why I said, even yeah. if you listen to some yeah. of my music, I got, I, you know, mental health, drug addiction, everything. I've been through the same. I've been in sober living homes, everything. So I salute you. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Yeah. Don't give up on your journey. Man, like, that that, that means so much. Like, to, be, to be completely honest, I just walked out the door in my, in my same same situation. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I, uh, and we are offering 20. This call may be monitored right, or Jesus. recorded. You have to Piece listen to it. High rewards just got even better. Junior, now uh, uh, what's the game plan? Any way you order, We're order 20 online, pizzas. in store, twenty pizzas. Hi, right. managers. How can I help you? Hi. Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Kind of tired. You know, it's been a long day. I just got shot a couple of days ago, so I'm just trying to get some food and get my energy back. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any free food right now. And, no, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to order free food. Why would you think I'm homeless? No, no, no. Wow. I never said that. That's not nice. Wow, bro. I never said that, man. Because you're saying, you know, something. Yeah, man. Can I speak well, to your manager? Can, can I speak you to your manager? Free. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'll take a free pizza. <laughs> I'll take a free pizza. Don't hang up. I'll take one. Hello? He said, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Hey, he was being disrespectful. Fucking pussy. (laughs) Are we on speakerphone? Hello? Hello? How can I help you? Hey, so your bitch ass employee just fucking got at me hella rude, talking about I'm homeless and shit. Like, what the fuck type shit is? Is this the imp- it, My bad, my bad. Let me rewind. Is this the type of employees that you guys are hiring at your establishment? I feel very, very, very violated, and I would like to file a formal complaint. Um, so for formal complaints, you actually have to call one eight hundred Dominoes because they're the ones that handle our customer care cases. That's right. So. What is your job if I'm trying to report your employee to you for getting at me very disrespectfully? Well, I can talk to the employee, but if you're wanting to file like a formal complaint, you have to go through 1-800-DOMINOS because they handle Are these calls recorded? Yes. Okay, and how do I get that recording so you can listen to the recording of how your employee just got at me? Because I don't, um, I'm not, the, the way he just talked to me, I don't think he deserves a job. I'm not entirely sure how to get a hold of the recordings. I don't know if the company hands those out. 
if you call 1-800-DOMINOS, they would be able to tell you more about that. Because I just, just want to know, know if, that particular it, it, side of is it. this, are, the, are, the, are, are, do you allow your employees to talk to customers like that? Cussing and, no. cussing and being very disrespectful and insinuating because I said I got shot and was trying to get some energy back that I'm a homeless man begging for food. No, typically we do not allow our employees. Because I am to very, very like offended. That. This is America, ma'am. This is America. And I should not be treated like this just trying to order a pizza. Understandable. Um, is that free? Like I said, like I said um, for customer care cases and like complaints, you have to call 1-800-DOMINOS. I, I will be talking to the employee, but I can't actually do the customer care case from here. How much is the pizza? <laughs> Um, depends on the size and the toppings. So, I'm just seeing, like, because I was very, like, just rudely disrespected, like, can I get a free pizza? Um, I can, give me just a second, because I actually have to ask my GM about that. I'm not sure how we handled that particular side of things. Yeah. Just a second, and I'll check that for you. Now, let's get 85 toppings. <laughs> this is a good prank. This is a great one. Can't ruin this guy's career, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he came at us weird, bro. He came at us like he he was the president or something, bro. Come on, man. Can't be doing that. <laughs> I'm a teller. I still don't know why. Why do you think you're home? <laughs> wow. That's that's a that's a red flag right there. Hey, okay, for the viewers watching, we're going up right now. But I will tell her that this is a prank. <laughs> After we get the free pizza. <laughs> I want free pizza. Ah, <laughs> 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 that's right. <laughs> What's your favorite toppings, ladies and gentlemen? What's your favorite toppings, guys? What do you guys want? <clears throat> Pineapple, pepperoni. I think I think maybe they hung up. <laughs> Did they hang up? No, it would have. No, it. They were still going on it. She's talking yeah. to her general manager. To get the free pizza. Yeah, we just need yeah, the yeah. pizza, guys. Then we could tell her it's a joke. <clears throat> he's like, he's just like, I didn't, I didn't say he was homeless. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to get him fired, but he got at me hella foul. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just want to show him what it could have been if this was it, real. The way, he, the way he said that, it was almost like 10 times a day people ask for free pizza, and he was just yeah. like, another one. Like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's happening in Seattle, bro? Like, everyone, like, <laughs> everyone what's going on, going on there? It's <laughs> not good, pizza, dude. It's yeah, like the end of days out there. To act like that? Like, why yeah. would you get at us like that? Everybody's just fucking asking. Everybody follow Ace Fetty 805. Follow me. You see what If you haven't doing. already, if you're just doing it in. I told you yeah. we're standing on business, Cat Williams mode. That's right. I haven't seen that we interview. We got them talking to the general manager for a free pizza. Will we get it? Will we Probably get not. Pizza? Probably not. It's debatable whether we're still on the line, to be honest with you. Cause, she put us yeah. on hold. I know, but it's like, we've been on hold for a while. Oh, There's no music yeah. or anything. I know, I don't hear the hold music. Yeah. Junior, play, play some hold music. <laughs> play a beat, play a beat. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. So I just spoke with my GM. Ah, that's right. So. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so I just spoke with my GM. She said for filing the formal complaint and getting a hold of any recordings or anything like that, you would have to call 1-800-DOMINOS. Uh -huh. um, I don't think that was my employee's intention. I'm already going to be speaking to him about this, though, because I can't, like, have conflicts between the customers and employees uh -huh. um, unfortunately there's not really a ton I can do on the store level right now if you want to pursue this further you're going to have to call one of your dominoes I can't access any of that on our side no you're all right 
So I just want to let you know that you're on the Ventura Tide podcast. Um, this was actually a prank call, but your employee, you know, you could see what happens if your employee does get out of line. Luckily, this was a prank call, and I don't want him to get in trouble. But I do appreciate you, and you have a good night. Yeah, no problem. I can come. Oh, shit. Hey, she All was right. sick right now. <laughs> She's like, she said, All right, right, so you yeah. saw it. You heard it here. We didn't destroy anybody's career. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't ruin nobody's career, guys. We didn't gave out his personal phone number. Yeah, for all the ladies. To, for all the ladies, yeah, or I mean, if you want to buy a sweatshirt. Unless y'all want hoodies. Yeah. hoodies. You see yeah, them. what's your number, Junior, so people know how to buy these? Or you could go to the mystery spot or yeah, the, uh, the pawn shop, the shop Ventura. Ventura. Yeah. There's two locations, like you said, two locations, so please. And artists. One send in a submission location. if you want to have your own Ventura Tide Pod uh, t-shirt drop or whatever you want to call it uh, DM us we will talk all, all profits go to you there we go and uh, I just want to shout out the Ventura Tide Podcast well, you know shout out everybody connect the coast OGT yeah. shout out Lord OGT. shout out everybody who called in tonight shout out my boys in Texas you know. I like OGT a lot OGT yeah. that's my boy yeah I fuck with G Fuck with, uh, shout out Jaquan Bentley. The oh, yeah, show. we know Jaquan. Yeah, Cheddar Clan, Trap Dot. Lambo. Yeah. Everybody. And Matt hey, you know, hey, do you know Apollo Devar and uh, uh, Big Kearns, too? Yeah, I just yeah, started yeah. talking to them. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. so, you know. We, They're I'm, good guys. They're I'm good tapped guys. in with yeah. some people. I'm getting, but that's what I've been working on, you know, just tapping in. and. Yeah, networking. I could see you just got, you networked a bunch on the, just the, live on the show. So. Yeah, that's, that's the point. That's how you do it. You know, yeah. you people got some funny ass little, little stories. They, they got the little prank call. We good. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> All right. What song should we go out on? Um, uh, out of yours, you know, on the show. Up. It's right here. Type in Ventura Tide music of the Ventura Tide pod. This, right. is, this is called Do They Love Me, featuring my boy Play Beasy. He from Santa Barbara. Y'all go follow Play Beasy. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Ace Freddy 805. Thank you very much. And what you We are out. Junior the Joint Roller. Bitch, I love the game. Hey, but do they love me? Turn the mics off. Good night, everybody. If you fuck with me, do you trust me? Or you gon' switch up like the mother hoes? Call you a pole in the field, baby, play a role. We have been forced, taking trips, we tryna do the dash. Cops get behind us, bro, we hit the gas. Cats are sucker lacking. Blood fuck a pass, cause when niggas call me lacking, how they try to do me bad. I try to big back, they got me on my bully shit. Extended marriage, hey, or peace, we told them big shit. G